Hollywood Manhattan. Cheesehead TV brings you two guys who like to think they know something about football! Hi, and welcome to Packer Transplants. I'm Aaron. And this is Corey. And today we'll try to stay level-headed in the face of complete ineptitude. So let's get started. And where do we get started? But the good, the bad, and the ugly. We got the good. We got Ryan Grant. Ryan Grant, looking like last year. John Coon. First touchdown. Congratulations, John. Greg Jennings. I just, there's, there are not enough superlatives in the English language. We got the bad. We got Aaron Rodgers. Ow. Uh, absolutely his worst performance yet. A.J. Hawk. Lost in the middle. Bob Sanders. He is who we thought he was. And we got the ugly. We got Atari Big B. In, it's probably unfair of me to put him in the ugly, but, you know, he played five plays, and those five plays were really, really ugly. You know what was really, really ugly? What's that? The Green Bay Packers. Yeah. Thanks for playing. You can't you can't argue with that. You oh, really can't. Oh, I have gone to my happy place. That's what this <laughs> shirt says, and that's where I've been trying to go all week, but it's been very, very, very unsuccessful. Very difficult this week, I gotta say. You know, and McCarthy like, has pointed out uh, that they lost by three scores. Yeah. But the other team scored 51 points. Mm. Seven touchdowns the Packers allowed on Monday night. And that's just unacceptable. Yeah. There's no other word for it. Uh, Bob Sanders and his complete inability to adjust to what was going on on the other side of the ball just reopens the can of he just doesn't have what it takes to coordinate a professional defense. Well, you know, what it, when you have one tight end against Bob Sanders, You're in bad trouble. things happen. Right. When you have two, <laughs> right. they score 51 points. <laughs> no, it was... It, but you And I think you posted something either in the forum or on the blog... You're absolutely right. They didn't. They didn't even go to like Colston mainly. I mean, yeah, they had the one big play to him when he uncovered on. Uh, yeah, on, they on Woodson. They didn't but go they to the receivers from him. hardly at all. They, they they went to like their second receiver, their two tight ends, their third string running back. Yeah, they used you know? two tight ends and their third string running back for their entire offense, almost the entire game. And why Sanders didn't go to like his nickel and dime sooner? I, I, like he had Papinga in there for like the entire first half. It made no sense. I mean, just. The week before, he played nickel against two tight end sets. Why he thought he could play three linebackers against their tight ends, I'll never know. Well, I'll and never know. Not to, not to mention the fact that we have no pass rush. Yeah. No, well, injuries have really destroyed them there. I mean, when you, you've got Jason Hunter, who's got all the physical ability in the world, who just n- no idea what to do with it. I mean, he's trying to run around guys. He, he just... And then Mike Montgomery's got no push in the pocket. Thompson was, was you know, uh, on the shelf. And his pass rush, while he hasn't exactly gotten home all year, he's at least pushed the pocket, you know? Breeze sat back there forever. And then oh. again, <laughs> again, again, you see, like, the, the first touchdown was a perfect example of how uh, uh, Sanders can't design a corner blitz to save his life. Like, yeah, you got a guy coming off, but Bigby's got to be up. And maybe that's execution, but Bigby's got to be up there. Well, you know, and here's not more in its track. Here's something that should scare every Packer fan. What's that? Aaron Rouse out with injuries. Mm. Big B out with injuries. Charlie Pepper, the backup out with injuries. <laughs> oh, no. Nick Collins injured as well. Injured as well. We don't know the extent of it. Right. That's four. That's your that's your four safeties. OK, <laughs> oh, guess who gosh. number five is. Guess who's oh. going to be playing against Carolina? Our favorite blog master himself. Tell the people who it is. Jarrett. Bush. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Jared Bush could be starting at safety for the Packers on Sunday with the season on the line. Um, <laughs> enjoy the game. Uh, the other oh, thing wow. that I just I wanted to touch on real quick, Aaron Rodgers had, without question, his worst game of the year. Oh, yeah. I his mean, worst game of his, of, the, of his career. Yeah. I just, even in the first half, when they were still in it, when they were still scoring points, he was spraying the ball around. He's staring down his first read, and that is just killing him. It is going to keep killing him. And it's like they started jumping on routes in the second half because he just, they knew exactly where he was going to go with the ball. It's just he's got to learn to manipulate the safeties. He's got to learn to take it. You know, the guy is going to be there on the break. You, just, you, gotta, you can't lock in like he's been doing. It's just killing him. And that, that that secondary is ridiculously bad. Yeah. We made them look yeah. ridiculously good. Yeah, it's just unfortunate. Like the throw to Jennings, perfect example. He had Jennings has the guy beat, 
Rodgers just needs to, to, to set his feet into the throw, and it's there. It's a touchdown. But you can tell he gets all excited, and he totally loses his footwork. He practically throws off his back foot, and that's why it's short. You know, Jennings is going down because he's trying to, like, scoop it up and stay in stride. You've got to hit that throw. You're a starting quarterback. You've got to hit that throw. This week in the Packer Blogosphere! Hi, and welcome to This Week in the Packer Blogosphere, the continuation of that venerable series. <laughs> and this week, I need to call somebody out. Who's that? That's Pack One over at PackersLounge.com. Uh, for the fans, by the fans? How do you run a website for the fans, by the fans? About the Green Bay Packers, when you don't even watch the whole game. Mm. I- I'm sorry. That That's just inexcusable. It's kind of hard. I understand if you're a fan and you turn the game off, but you run a Packer website. And you shut the game off? Well, I want to call out some people in the Packer blogosphere. Who's that? Uh, a lot of people, actually. A lot I- of blogs? Where are the blogs? Where is it? Where's Brats and Beer? Hey, I appreciate the video. Love. Yeah, but thanks. Thanks for the link. Appreciate it. But... One post a week. Yeah, no, that's Packer not doing Palace. It. Yeah, speak out, spew off. But come on, a little more, yeah. please. And uh, Green Bay Booze and Broads. Where the heck has he been? You know, I mean, it's easy when they're thirteen and three. We get it. But come on, are you a Packer fan? We're Packer fans, right here. That's well, we are. I know I am. I, I don't you even <laughs> start, boy. I'll, I'll, I'll take you to task. <laughs> well, talking about Packer fans, here are my uh, kitty towels. There you go. You know, kitty towel. This is uh, this is my kitty towel from uh, 2005. That that one's not we don't very like good to talk because about that, one. that one we lost. That no, game. no, no, we don't. But talk this about one's kind of nice because that that was the Monday night game. That was a great game. 24-14. You were at Carolina last year in Lambo. Yes, I was. I saw Tremont Williams run that nice punt return you're back. Going to, you're going to a game this year. Right? I was going to go this weekend, but now I'm going to the Texans game next week. Well, hopefully, let's hope, we'll, it, let's hope it means something. Yeah, uh, uh, let's <laughs> hope be, it does. I'm, because here we go. This this Sunday, let's not let's not kid ourselves. This Sunday is the season. Yeah. They win this week, they're still in it. They lose, it's over. If they win this week, they're still in it, barely. No, but they're in it. They're, it's they, true. This team is in it. It's they true. just got to put together a string of wins. And I think they do it. I think they start it this week. Uh, the problem, of course, is, on the, as always, on the defensive side of the ball. What's Carolina's strength? Running the ball. What is our weakness? Stopping the run. So, should be a fun game. Well, hopefully we can get Ryan Grant going early like we did against the Bears. Control that clock. Control the ball. Absolutely. I, I think they can do it. I've, I've written. I think they win this week. That was even before Jarrett Bush got uh, rel- <laughs> updated into the uh, starting lineup, possibly, for safety. Ouch. Yikes. I but hope he blogs about it this week. I hope so, too. But I he know, won't. I have to admit, I haven't been frequenting uh, the uh, Jarrett Bush blog. Uh, neither has he. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the Packers get a win this week. Um, they just they got it. They got to stop the run. Um, put Woodson on uh, Steve Smith, and uh, you know, start a start a winning streak. Let's go, Lambo. Let's get go, it up. Lambo. Well, that's it for this week's show. We hope you enjoyed the latest installment of Packer Transplants. Uh, please tell your fellow Packer fans about us and visit us at CheeseheadTV.com.